Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare medieval beef roast with a garlic sauce from the Opusculum de Saporibus, written by Minus de Maineris, also known as Magninus Mediolanensis, a physician who lived between the 13th and the 14th centuries. We start with the ingredients. We need beef, walnuts, ginger and garlic. First, we parboil the meat for about half an hour. The cooking time depends on the cut you choose. For a tender cut, you may need just 5 minutes. The author of this recipe doesn't specify how to roast the beef, but pre-cooking it for a short time in water before roasting it is the typical way to prepare meats considered hard, such as beef according to the direction of the medieval cooks. For example, Maestro Martino or the anonymous author of the Tractatus de Modo Preparandi et Condiendi Omnia Cibaria et Potus. In this way, the meat remains more tender, a quality very appreciated in a roast during the Middle Ages. Meanwhile, we prepare the sauce. We peel the garlic, clean and mince the ginger, and shell the walnuts. Then, pound all the ingredients in the mortar with two pinches of salt and dilute them with a bit of broth. We used five cloves of garlic and five walnuts. This kind of sauce is called alleata alba, white garlic sauce, being characterized by the white color of all the ingredients. Another recipe for a good alleata appears in the Tractatus, with bread, egg whites, verjuice and vinegar. But there are no ginger or walnuts, two ingredients that make the general flavor of the sauce more balanced. In the Opusculum de Saporibus we find other kinds of garlic sauces, recommended for fish and poultry specifically capon, chicken and pheasant, in which the author uses almonds. In general, garlic was considered an ingredient for peasants, unsuitable for the delicate stomach of the nobles. But despite this reputation, it appears in a few medieval recipes. In some cookbooks, for example, Maestro Martino's Libro de Arte Cucinaria and Registrum Cucine, it is used to stuff birds such as crane, goose or duck. And this kind of dish appears in literary texts as a food for common people. For example, in the Trecento Novelle, written by Franco Sacchetti in the 14th century. Actually, beef too is considered a meat difficult to digest and more suitable for the manual workers than for the nobles in the Tractatus and texts on dietetics. However, it's used sometimes in high-end recipes. We spit roast the meat at low heat for about 45 minutes. For a tender cut, we suggest a faster cooking at high heat. The Opusculum de Saporibus is a short treatise entirely dedicated to sauces and the healthiest ways to pair them with meat and fish according to medieval dietetics. Despite the brevity, however, this text is dense with recipes and information and allows us to learn how to prepare many kinds of meat and fish in a way considered suitable in the Middle Ages, with several variants for every ingredient. It is a fundamental book for medieval cuisine and we translated it on our Patreon page as well as the first two parts of the Tractatus de Modo Preparandi et Condiendi Omnia Cibaria et Potus and many other ancient and medieval sources. On Amazon instead you find our other books, documented translations of a 15th century cookbook, Registrum Coquine a Medieval Cookbook, and the 6th century book by the Byzantine physician Antimus, titled The Observazione Ciborum, Early Medieval Recipes at the Court of the Franks.
If you're interested in ancient cuisine, read our book, Ancient Roman Cooking. All the books are available in ebook and printed editions, in English and Italian. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. Then we cook the sauce for a couple of minutes. If you prefer a milder taste, cook the sauce a little longer. The garlic will retain less of its pungent taste. This roast was amazing, tender and full of flavor, enhanced by the intense flavor of this sauce, in which the pungency of garlic is softened by the walnuts and made spicier by the delicious aroma of fresh ginger. A strongly flavored roast, very simple to prepare and perfect as a main dish for a medieval dinner. We recommend pairing it with medieval lasagna or gnocchi, ending the dinner with apple fritters or pie. You find all the links in the description below. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.